Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. Hello. I hope you're having a good week. I actually feel like it's been a long time since I uh, saw, saw you <laughs> because last week I took a vacation. Now y'all didn't know that because I preloaded videos from the week before and so you didn't miss anything here but for me it feels like I have to remember how to do this because I've been away for a little bit. Now there's a few things that I want to catch up on real quick and then we are going to do some thrifting today. I'm going to take you to the Ashtabula Harbor Goodwill with my friend Julie. I was in the area getting my hairs did and so we took advantage of that, stopped in there, found some great things and we also go to a place called Classy Consignments which is in the little town of Jefferson, Ohio. So we'll get to that in a second. There are a few things though that I want to talk about before we get there. The first one is this week we're having an unlive sale. Now if you don't know what an unlive sale is, it's just a drop sale. I bring 10 items that you have a chance to make offers on. I will share those all with you tomorrow night when I air this at 6 p.m. But let's take a quick peek at what I'm bringing to this week's unlive sale. That sale will be shut down on Friday night. I'm gonna shut it down at midnight my time, which is Eastern. So everything that you see here, if you like something, get your offer in on it because on Friday at midnight, I will be shutting them down. All right, the next thing is, next week is gonna be a really cool week. So on Wednesday, I will be on our friend Yvonne's channel, Yvonne Thrifty Rich. We are gonna do a boho only sale. So everything boho. Super excited that she decided to do this and invited me. We will have decor, jewelry. I think she's gonna bring some clothes even. Who knows what's gonna show up there, but that is gonna be on her channel. It's gonna be six o'clock my time, which is four o'clock her time. So six o'clock Eastern, she's mountain. That's the math. <laughs> so I'm super excited about that. And then on Thursday night, mom and I will be live here with our normal end of the month sale. And this one is gonna be super special because we have decided to do what my mom came up with, a Yosobo hoedown. A hoedown, y'all, we're gonna do a hoedown. <laughs> it's just gonna be a combination of fun chat, our normal goofy craziness, um, some sales, but the sales are going to be a little special this time because I am going to air this coming Saturday a Fix It Yo So Loved video. Everybody has been asking me, how do I fix the ceramics? How do I fix some of the things that I find that are kitschy and cute but maybe damaged? So I created a video while I was on vacation and I'm going to share that with you on Saturday and those pieces will be coming to you on Thursday next week. So I will of course do a preview before then so you can see what we're bringing, but lots going on next week. It's gonna be a super fun week. If you join me on Yvonne's channel, I will keep your box open for the Thursday Yo So Hoedown. <laughs> and then I will package everything and save you on shipping um, for Thursday's sale. In fact, if you end up with things from this sale that you feel like carrying over to next week, just let me know because if you're gonna shop all of the sales, I can save you money on shipping. So just let me know before I do invoicing on Saturday for this sale that you wanna keep your box open. All right, I think that's all the business. That's a lot of business, I know. But we're gonna go thrifting. Let's go check out the Ashtabula Goodwill. Let's go. Here's what I mean when I say that the Goodwill in the Ashtabula Harbor is right on the water. Look at the boats. And then literally, there's the Goodwill. What did you find? 
Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's a big mug. I know, and that's gonna go in my collection. I think I'm gonna get it. That's cute. Pumpkin patch. We just basically walked through and she's picking up clothes. I picked up something. We're probably gonna try stuff on. That little dress that you saw in the cart there turned out to be a wonderful vacation dress. Um, it was a little too short to wear as a dress, but I wore it with some capris. In fact, here's a picture of me and Earth at Ocean Point in Maine where I'm wearing this piece. I absolutely love that piece. And did you see how great it went with my new hat? Let's get back to shopping. I like these little bowls. These are Target, made, distributed at Target, but look at the shape of those. And they just have a really good feel. I love the little X's in there. They stack kind of wonky and fun. Well, somewhere they were 50 cents. <laughs> That's not here. Um, good question. I don't see a tag on these. Oh, this might be a thing. We gotta look this up. Yeah, we gotta look this up. I normally stay away from Ray Dunn. However, when I see some of the more artsy pieces, I look them up. It's just something that you should probably do because you just never know. Some of the stuff is crazy expensive and some of the stuff is nah, pretty much worthless. And this is, I think, somewhere in the middle. So I paid $1.99 per plate and I think I'm going to end up somewhere 10 or 12 dollars per plate so somewhere in the 40 to maybe 48 dollar range there is currently four of these plates listed it's listed at i believe 79 dollars there are like three watchers there's no other ones listed but there are some sold which means the sell through rate might be good on these i have two plates that say eat one that says dine and i have one that says chow they're gonna be a little pricey to ship, but if somebody's looking for them, they'll find them on eBay and they'll pay for the shipping. Did you just put yours back there? Yep. Oh, I thought maybe there was two. Okay, now we're into the color-coded areas. Let's step back and see how beautiful. Do we see anything that we need? Ooh, what's this? That's pretty, why is there tape on there? It's a music box. We're missing some stuff here. It's not in the greatest condition. What in the world? I thought it was a shoe from that angle. It's a bean bottle, right? I have no idea. Yeah, James Beam. Hmm. I've never seen one that fancy. That's crazy. And what's this guy? This looks kitschy in here. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. Really good condition. I don't know, about $5. That's probably a real stretch. I'm thinking it's probably a maybe $15 piece. I'm seeing something that looks like Capa de Monte over here. Nope, made in China. Three of them. Those are neat. They have a nice weight. I don't see any markings on them, but those feel quality. I wish there was four of them. Hmm, he's kind of cute. Woodland Santa. He's a short, fat little feller. That's a pewter piece underneath there. Lillian Gish, this bottom one. Mm, I might have to look that up. It's nice. This is a hobbyist piece. Somebody did a good job with that, that's for sure. Whole little house. What's this back here? Is that like a big bonbon? <laughs> Sticky pudding maybe? It's a cookie jar. 
I should have checked this out a little bit more closely. This is designed by Catherine Zeta-Jones, actually, for QVC, made by Gans, and probably sells between $35 and $40. Oh, those are fun. Those are wine glasses. <laughs> With their parts sticking out in the wine glass. That's fun. All right, we have some additional shelves back here that we can check out. Let's see if we can find something good. So far, nothing crazy good. How cute are they? Little froggy picture frame. It's made in China. Resin. I like them though. He's cute. Do you see him? Julie's mom loves owls. She's got plenty though. She doesn't need any more. No. There's a few things that I've kind of liked here, but once I see that they're five dollars, I kind of don't like them anymore. Oh. She's sad. She's had a hard life. <laughs> oh, look at that little chicken with the chicken inside of it. <laughs> That's cute. Oh my gosh, look at all these hand-painted people up here. They're not done very well, but they make me smile. <laughs> Why do you see this, Jolie? What is this? Oh, he's broken. Looks like he's missing some hair. <laughs> oh, look at his shoes. Five dollars again. See, if he wasn't broken, I think I would grab him. Oh my gosh, that's an Anna Lee. That's a big Anna Lee. Six ninety nine. Yeah, we'll take him for sure. This is an Anna Lee. Some of them creep me out, but the critters I think are super cute. So I picked him up. He is a little mouse. Well, he's not little. <laughs> he is a mouse caroler. He's singing and he's got his little uh, deck the hall music here in his hand. It doesn't look like he sells for a whole lot. I picked him up for $6.99, but I think the last one sold for about $25. He's absolutely adorable and I'm pretty sure somebody's going to love him. Look what I just found. Oh my gosh. I know, Kim, you're going to say I want it, I want it, but it's actually my size. Jules, do you think this has even been used? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think. If it's been washed, it's been washed once. I mentioned Kim because the last time that I found a set of Harry Potter PJs, she was pretty upset with me that I didn't pick them up. But these, Kim, are my size, so I'm sorry to say. They will be staying with me. Got the top and got the bottoms. What did I spend on this? $8. So that was pretty great. I think I looked these up. They're not that expensive. So Kim, if you want a pair, if you want to be twinsies, check Macari, check Poshmark, um, maybe even check eBay. I think I saw different sizes um, in the like $15 to $25 range. So not too expensive and they're so soft. I won't be wearing them anytime soon, but come fall when it gets a little cooler, I will be. What do you think about this one? Is it too loud? It is definitely not me. It's so loud. It's but so fun though. Can actually see you, you could see me in it? Yes. So I kind of dig it. Sucra fuss. Sucra is sugar in Spanish, right? What do you think about this? Yeah, that I do like. So this is like a little cross stitch up here, but then it's got the seed beads. Looks super summery. And then this one, what do we think about this one? So this has got a longer sleeve. It looks like a fall piece. I love Rosin Alley. That's one of the labels that I look for. I like it. I think I might have to have that I one. Like On this day, I find several things and not just tops. Here I found a pair of swimwear capris so like longer swim pants in my size 
in an amazing quality. Completely love them. Didn't know I needed them, but I love to have everything more covered. I'm just, you know, I'm a bigger girl. Plus I don't go well with the sun. So I like to be covered up and these were like the perfect thing. And I also at the next place got a pair of pants um, that are again in the washer. But these tops that you saw, are so, so good. This was the first one. It's got a really cool vintage vibe to it and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you those other couple of blouses here with a quick little snappy try on. This one first is made by Kato or Kato, C-A-T-O, and it is a larger size, but that's okay because it's super flowy. This all looks like seed bead work almost, right? But this is embroidered and then this is actually seed bead. Um, but these colors matched perfectly with the pants that I was wearing on this day. So check this out. How great is this? Super lightweight, very comfortable. Um, a little bit see-through. I will wear a white camisole underneath it and those pants because they match so beautifully. Super boho, nice and light and summery and artsy and perfect. I love it. Let's check out the next one. It's kind of crazy and I think I might love it even more. How rad is this top? It's not something that I normally would have pulled out and been like, I have to try that on. But the colors in this with the teal and the orange and just how vibrant and crazy, you know, big the flowers were, I had to try it on. And I'm so glad I did because when I did, I felt really good in it. It actually has two pieces down here <laughs> that tie or you can leave them straight but just the cut on the shirt is super flattering and it just looks really pretty and very summery again. I've seen a couple more out there. So if you love this shirt, go hunt it down. I think I've seen one on eBay and one on Poshmark. Um, again, not that expensive. This one just makes me happy. All right, I found one more thing here. Let's go check that out. Well, here's my final pile. All my clothes, plates are in there. Mr. Annalee. And when I returned some stuff, I found this beautiful tin. Killarney Assortment. It's a chocolate tin, but look at the graphics on this. It's got a little ding right there. Mary Allen. I love the colors and the design. As I was going back through what I recorded, I realized I just plain missed it the first time around. It's got this cute little knob on the top and the piece itself is in pretty good condition. It looks like this should be worth somewhere between 18 and $20. And that's cool. I got it for $2.99. Now we're gonna go over and check out Classy Consignments in Jefferson. This is the place where I picked up the organ last year. If you didn't see that, my family and I converted a East Lake style organ into a bar. And it was a really cool project. And if you missed it, I'll link that right up here and in the information box below. You can go take a look at it. It was a very neat thing. I don't know if I've been back since we were there. So they have done a lot of changing things around and I'm gonna take you there. I don't think I capture on camera what I picked up, um, but I'm gonna show you one thing when we get back. Let's go take a look at Classy Consignments. Two cuddling dog statue. That's adorable. I know. Yeah, probably made in China. Yeah. It's still very it's neat. Adorable. Yeah, it's very neat. Are these new things or? Cause these look like somebody made these. Yeah. yeah. We were laughing at this when we first came in. Le Coq. Ooh, that's cute. Look at that little satchel with the beads. Yeah, I like that. Me too, I like the color on it. They set this up neat. I love this with the door. Look at these good old bowls, $10. Those are nice old bowls. Sugar, oh, no, 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 no. this is nice. No. Yeah. That would go good. In, in your, that would look good in your uh, coffee bar. Mm. Jackrabbit, balanced diet for unbalanced people. <laughs> That's funny. 
notice the buyer's fast action diet for lagging, dragging salesmen, truck drivers, fishermen, hunters, golfers, bowlers, and talkative females. <laughs> talkative females? Keep away from stenos, office girls, beauty operators, and waitresses. What is this? That's funny. We are in the back building and admiring some things back here, some pretty things. We love these pieces. They have two pieces, a smaller one and a bigger one with this raw edge and the hairpin legs. This piece is only $150, which is a great deal. The smaller one on the other side is $120. They've got a organ back here that they're giving away. They have a hutch over here that they're giving away. And we're just checking out the rest of the things. We are upstairs and look at all the kids stuff they have here. I think there's more decor back in here. Oh my gosh. I love this. You, me, and the dog. <laughs> Pier one, 10 bucks. They want $7. That would be fun for the camper. What in the world is this? Oh my. Look at this piece of pottery. <laughs> what? That is what that so like. wonky fun. What does it look like? Now, you ever seen when, for the camping, when you, for when women. When you have to pee? Yeah, for women. Oh, <gasps> is that a pee cup? All right, this is $5.99. It's the weirdest thing ever. I'm gonna look up Lynn Norwood. Got a whole men's room in here. Got a book room, kids books, some non-kids books. And then this room that we just kind of went through. Let's see this little elephant. His name, is he ironwood? No, it's like a stone or a resin. And we got a chirping, <laughs> chirping air conditioning unit. I picked up three things at Classy Consignments. One was a very long cotton kind of cover up. It was like a black dress, but cotton and loose fitting and all the way down like to my ankles. Perfect for vacation because when I got out of the water and I was a little chilled, that was like the nice thing to put on over my swimsuit. And speaking of tall, I bought a pair of joggers in this really great material, almost like a water resistant material. I think they may have been men's but they were Old Navy and I wasn't sure, I didn't try them on, but I loved the feel of them and I love that they were tall. And when I got them home, I put them on and they fit perfect. They're like an olive green and I'm already looking on eBay to find another pair maybe in black because the fit and the feel of them is so good. So the last thing I found when I was standing at the counter, I saw that they had a couple of signs around the counter for jewelry that was just a dollar and so I walked over when I saw this one these are all cut and polished stones they've got a little bit of a facet on them even and look at the stones aren't they gorgeous with those greens and marbled reds I think they're absolutely fantastic. Can't model this because it needs an extension for me to comfortably wear it. It is a choker on me. I have a wider neck, but I think that this is gonna come with me to the boho sale over on Yvonne's channel next Wednesday um, because it does have such a great um, boho look to it. It was such a good day. I mean, starting with a new um, haircut, spending it with my friend Julie, and getting a whole bunch of clothes, most of which were just perfect for my upcoming vacation. And that's the story of this day. We're gonna end it here. I'm gonna be back on Thursday, 
at the shops by the lake because earlier this month my aunt and I worked and we did a little bit of walking around and I found something cool that I'll share with you. And then I had to drive her down here to pick up a car. So we hit the Kent Goodwill on our way through and found some really cool things there too. So that's what we're looking at for Thursday. Don't forget about this on live sale tomorrow night, six o'clock, and then next week, all kinds of fun. So stay tuned, we got lots going on. I hope to see you tomorrow and Thursday. Until then, please take care of yourself.